Tom's, and it's time for another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And this we found at Whole Foods. This is the second of four Umsum varieties that we found. I guess these ladies came up with the idea for this in Brooklyn. And the noodles made in China. I don't know where they make the, uh, the liquid base. But we're going to give it a try. The last one didn't go so well. I'm hoping... I like the idea. It reminds me of a Taiwanese dry noodle, at least visibly. And then it's got this uh, large sachet of liquid. You stir it up, you got your saucy noodle. So I'm hoping there's some of these that I really, really like. But they ain't cheap. And I got a fried egg. All right, dropping in the noodles, and they go for four minutes. So, four minutes on the clock. And here we go. Look, we could even make it, we can do presentation style instant noodle recipe time. Let's see. More like that. I don't know what happened, but my clock here, it, well, not the clock, but my, my phone that I use basically is a monitor, so I can see how the timer is going and everything else. It's super, it's slow. I was like, I put this block, yeah, now there's the, there's the box. It's like it takes forever to update. Is really crummy here like that look at that look at that presentation doesn't that make you hungry uh-oh uh oh no 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 Ugh. we don't want it to spill over ladies and gentlemen so yeah it's uh It's Thursday. My wife and I feel like crap, and uh, it's sunny out now. It's supposed to get up in like almost, it sounds like it's gonna possibly hit 80 here on Saturday. And it, that will be what? Uh, this is the fifth, I think. So October 7th, 80 degrees in Washington state. That would be jacked up. I don't know if I've ever witnessed such a ridiculous thing. So we'll see. And if that does happen, then it will. Well, that'd be ridiculous. I mean, I've been wearing a coat and long pants. So, just think about that. Um, and a beanie. Because it's been cold. I'm coming out here in the morning, it's cold. Gently manipulate the noodle. Gently. Yeah. Haven't heard anything about the pumpkin spice noodles coming back. I thought that was really, honestly, quite a genius thing. I know a lot of you think that that was like the grossest thing you've ever heard of. Dude, whatever. It's, it's something new and different. I'm really into new and different. Come on, I've, this this will be the four thousand eight hundred and what sixteenth instant noodle I've tried. Trust me, new and different, especially in the U.S. market, I'm all over it. This is new and different. I really like the packaging of this one. I think it's really snazzy. I hope it's good. I really do. If it's crummy, then you know. You'll know in short order if I'm really not ex 
excited about this. But we will find out in a moment. Okay. So now it is time for me to drain my noodle. Let's do so. Draining my noodle. Watch, watch me drain my noodle. Woo! I know, it's an old joke. I keep saying it. I think that's probably enough of that. But maybe there's a new person watching and it's like, oh, that's so funny. He's telling us to watch him drain his... Yeah. Probably not. Some kind of pipe dream that I think I'm making a funny joke. You never know. Alright. Soy garlic omsom spice or saucy. Expensive noodles. I'm just, the last one tasted like Italian dressing with Szechuan pepper. And that just, oh God, is it again? I hope not. Like I said, good luck. But I'm getting that smell and I don't know why. I think it says I'm authentic somewhere on it. That's a, that's a bad thing. There's got to be one that I'll like. I mean, I'm smelling it, and I'm, I'm really doubtful. But, you know, I've had ones that, when I prepared them and smelled them, I thought they smelled horrible. And then I try them, and they're really quite good. So hopefully that's going to be the deal here. Oh. I can smell this acidity like a freaking mile away. Soy garlic. This is co-packed nightmare land. That's what I'm getting out of this. There's a little sticker on the box that was applied after it was made that said that it was, uh, the noodle is a product of China. So that was a that that's not the company's fault. That's the co-packers' fault, most likely. Whoever that may be. All right, let's go. Wow, zero. That's shit. That's absolutely horrible. The balls these people have charging five bucks for this crap. Wow. It literally tastes like heartburn. I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it's just really, really acidic. It, it's, the noodle is really putting me off too because it's so close to being like a Taiwanese dry noodle. And it's out the gauge that I really like, but it's just not up to par. So I'll make it look pretty, but just letting you know, this is, and is it, okay, so what is this called? This is Omsom Saucy Noodles Soy Garlic Flavor. Am I getting garlic? No. Am I getting soy? No. Am I getting, oh, am I getting like spicy Italian vinaigrette? Yeah, all the way. That's all I'm getting out. Sorry, Yeah, I think these are all just variations on a theme, or they're all really the same flavor. They've just given them different names and different packaging. The packaging looks great. What a cool thing. But that's about it. I approve of the packaging. Very punk rock. But, yeah. I guess I'll 
chocolate and this chicken on this one too. You could do so much better with this. Just get rid of that acidity. I bet you somewhere it says bold flavor. Just because you can make something have a strong taste doesn't mean you should. You should make it balanced. You know? Okay. This is canned chicken from Walmart. I would rather eat this than this. This I like. This, no. Okay? That is... I'm sorry to be rough. But you know what? I'm not in this to make friends. If I was going to BS you about everything and... I mean, I'm just, I'm just bummed. I'm disappointed. And it's, the thing that disappoints me too, is that it's always, always fancy packaged varieties that are made and to be sold in the U.S. or, well, the stuff like this that's made for the U.S. market. 99% of the time, it is just like, whoa. He's spending like, how much of that five bucks are you spending on packaging? Ditch it. Spend it on, spend it on quality. Spend it on something that tastes good. Good God Almighty! Blasphemy! this stuff I'm really hoping hoping that one of the next two that I try because we got all four of them they're like five bucks a pop hoping one of the last two isn't just so acidic funky yeah anyways back to the drawing board for these guys I guess this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day uh, like subscribe really helps me out. Have a good one. Bye-bye.